so hello everyone welcome back to the channel and in the fifth part of the this video series we are going to see how we are going to export the matlab symboling fault data as a csv file to the python environment where we can do machine learning task on it for that in the next part of the video i'm going to fast forward some um, some basic tasks which i have already shown in the previous videos so that you have an idea that what do, what i did in this case so let's start with it. So as in the last part, I fast forwarded this uh, section where I repeated the same adding fault uh, adding fault blocks to different uh, to different parameters. In the last video, we did it for the RE block, thus the RE that is electrical resistance parameter. But in this video, we have, I repeated the same thing for the RM, which is our mechanical resistance fault, and then the same thing I reported I repeated here. So one is for the current sensor fault. So, and uh, this thing to remember here is I renamed that as SWIM, where it means switch for the IM fault. And same I did for the that I should put W. Yeah, and one switch for the uh, speed block. So that was it. And in the uh, next part. I did is I I took this uh, data the current sensor data out into the workspace of the MATLAB how you do that is you go to library browser then you check this block to workspace block you put it here and one important thing to do here is first to change the name of the variable here I'm taking the measured current so I'm taking naming it I am and in here see and in the shape format always choose this array that's it and same thing i did for the um, omega m the measured velocity and there you go so now if you run this here here i see i have added the re fault because this switch is connected to here the faulty part but no other faults are being added this is to the normal part like that and now if we go to the matlab workspace like here here you can see that is out out variable generated from the simulation here this out dot t dot will, will give you all the time instances like this is the all the things that the out variable contains that is i n omega n and t out they're all in the array format and you can access them just by typing out dot i am so we got the current values for the for this uh, entire simulation like that now what i can do as i got my out variable here first i would like to do i would like to get them in a csv format back into my I like to get them into a CSV file so that I can use them in Python for uh, any kind of machine learning analysis. So first I'll try to do RE and RM fault and try to save them in a CSV format. In the CSV format I need uh, two features basically that is current and speed. So first what will I do? I'll create a new variable time and I'll save out.p out which means the time parameter of the simulation out dot im will give the measured current that we got here uh, this one this one the measured current of the simulation and then we'll get the 
measure speed as we are talking about the re fault i named that fault class re as a string then i'm going to make another column in this uh, data table where the last column will represent the type of fault i have introduced so this is just an array and what is this array contain the fault class and having a shape as same as the time variable here this is just an array of same length of these two, three variables so that I can concatenate them and make a table. And then here comes the FDI tag. The table uh, function create a table out of these variables and save them in FDI table variable. Then this write table will save this FDI table in a CSV format. And in this path. So I'm naming that file. Uh, percentage as fault class this is like string formatting in matlab but instead of percentage as the fault class will be printed in the here my fault class is i so it will just be re fault the name of the file so that it will be easy to handle later and dc motor sensor data is the location of the file which is present here all right now if you want to plot them you can just This is just the method to print them. So what I can do, I can select them. I can just press F9 to, to execute the selected uh, part. So see, now you go IM, Omega M, this is the time variable and you can see. And the fault introduced is RE. So now if you want to change it, now if you want to change this to RM, suppose you want to save the rm fault you just change this uh, fault class to rm and now you select from here uh, you select uh, this then now you go to your simulink model you turn off this switch and turn on this switch the now that once you turn on this switch that means the mechanical resistance fault has been added Now you have to run this and now coming here now I'll do the same process I'll just select this thing and just press well now you give this is the when the RM fault is introduced this is how the current and uh, speed uh, parameter uh, sensor value look like after that we can do the same procedure for the other type of faults. What are the other type of faults? The sensor faults. And for the IEM fault, first we'll deactivate this. Go to the IEM block and uh, add the IEM fault. Run this block. In this case, only IEM fault is added. Go back. Here changes to IEM. Now as the only the current sensor has a fault, you can see a big deviation there and omega uh, sensor is, uh, has no effect on it. And also one thing, next the final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce the speed fault, the omega m fault. To see here is see in here we got all the four type of fault as a csv form so if i open here that's it our re fault this is how it looks like we have four columns first is time next is the measured current measured speed and finally is the fault type here one thing to note here is the fault type has throughout the entire rows but we have added fault at a specific time and what time we have added fault you can check on the signal builder so if you go to here the signal builder you can see that the fault has been only added between the time 100 second to 200 second rest all the time there is no fault so when we are extracting the data or labeling the data 
uh, during machine learning class, we need to take care of this.